hello everyone today i am going to show you guys my way of creating a door family in revit and also about how i use that family in the project files you can see that when i place the door in the plan view on the pre on the wall it looks like this no other detail of the is visible in this plan view when you go to the 3d the glass door looks like this it is closed and also have handles and all of the details when you go to the elevation it looks like this with with all of its details so now i am going to show you guys that how you can create this type of family in revit but before we start uh, let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any query or difficulty related to Revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start creating this parametric family open the door template file in Revit reduce the text size now we don't know why we do not need this these frames for this file so i'm going to delete it after that go to the elevation move towards exterior elevation then go select extrusion command in the create tab and draw like this make sure to lock these three sides then delete the fourth one give an offset of two inches Fillet the edges. Make sure there is no open side. And then give it an extrusion end of 1 inches and an, and an extrusion start of minus 1 inches, which makes it a total of 2 inches thickness. Assign material parameter to this frame. Again, select extrusion, draw a rectangle like this, lock all the four edges, give it an extrusion of one inches, fillet the edges. Give it an extrusion end of half inches and extrusion start of minus half inches, making it a total thickness of one inches. Again, select extrusion from the create tab to create to make the glass of this door. Lock all the four edges of this rectangle. Now give it an extrusion start of one by four inches minus 1 by 4 inches and extrusion end of 1 by 4 inches making it a total thickness of half inches now assign the material parameter to both of these extrusions as shown in the video as this is a double door copy these two extrusions and then paste, play, uh, paste it on the right side once you have placed it make sure to align all the sides and lock it down
After assigning the materials, make sure to check if the door parameters are working correctly. In the annotate tab, select the symbolic line command and draw the plan for the door as we show it in the plan views with its opening direction and all the detail. The detail. These lines which we are drawing with the help of symbolic line command, it is only it will only be visible in the plan view and not in the 3D or anywhere else. Now go to the elevation and delete these two lines. Again go to annotate tab, select symbolic line, and from this category select elevation swing projection and as this is a double door draw the lines like this now go to the plan view and import a component of door handle which is available in the built-in library Place the door handles on both the exterior and the interior side as shown in the video. In the elevation, select for all of these door handles and move them at a height of 42 inches. Make sure to lock these door handles at this height so so that when you change the height of the door these handles will remain in this position or in other words at this height only in the 3d Check, the, uh, check that if the parameters are working correctly and now you can see that the handles remain at their position now in the floor plan or anywhere else select these extrusions select all of these extrusions then open this click on this edit in the visibility graphics and when you open it a new dialog box will appear in that dialog box make sure that you uncheck this when cut in plan so now these extrusions will not be visible in the plan view like i have shown in the start of the video The file is now ready to be loaded into the project. So load it into the project.
place a wall in the plan view. Then place the door anywhere on the wall. And now you can see that it has a different graphics in the plan view. It looks entirely different in the 3D with all its details and in the north elevation. It has its different graphics. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.